Hey guys, Lyric 62 and I know we haven't uploaded a video in a while, so today we're going to go over everything that was revealed from, I think like a week ago till now, and that'll include Lego Movie 2 sets, um, the ha new Harry Potter set, and Lego DC Super Villains news, so without further ado, let's get right into it. The first, um, bit of news I'm going to show is for the Lego, um, the Movie 2 sets, and I'm really excited for these sets. This first one, I cannot really share what most of them are called. I think one, this one's called Lucy and Emmett's Escape uh, Track. And I think it's really cool. It comes with, um, it comes with Lucy and Emmett, and then a metal beard, which is pretty awesome. And I really like uh, how metal, metal Beard is now, because um, before he only came in Metal Beard to see Cow and metal, ver metal Beard versus Micro Manager, and the Metal Beard to see Cow one was a small one, so I like that. Um, this one is a smaller middle beard because maybe they could feature him in more sets now because he doesn't have to be so big. But I really like how they took the part on metal beard and the um, truck is really cool. We also saw this truck in the trailer and it comes with one other figure that I'm not exactly sure who it is but it's an apocalyptic version of probably someone we saw in the first Lego movie. And overall I think this is a pretty cool set. Definitely reminds me a lot of Killer Croc's Tailgator. This is definitely one I'm really excited for. And next is Sweet Mayhem's The Star Spaceship. And I think this one's a pretty cool set. Just like the last set comes with the little star and heart characters. It's pretty cool. And it also comes with uh, Sweet Mayhem, obviously. Uh, Lucy in her apocalyptic version. And just regular Emmett. Because all of them come with regular Emmett. And I think it looks pretty cool. I really like the overall design of it. It's definitely pretty accurate to the movie. And I'm glad that they made Sweet Mayhem stay as a mini doll. Because if they put her in a minifigure form, I feel like that would be a little bit weird to see that. So I'm really glad they kept it as a mini doll. Because in the next set, you're going to see that they did something a little bit like that. Um, but I think the spaceship definitely looks really cool. But I kind of would have wished that Apocalyptic Lucy came with her... Um, goggles that we saw because she was looking at the ship in the movie and she had these really big um, telescope things so I thought it would be really cool if a set came with that besides that I think it looks really cool I love the sleek design and how the majority of it's white but it's also a uh, circular shape and has some parts sticking out of it I think it looks like a really cool design on this ship so let's get on to the next set and this one's called I think it's called um Super Ultra Rage Kitty, I think, and Apocalypse Lucy, or something like that. I wasn't really keeping track of what the names were, but I really like this set. I love the, the Ultra Ang Rage Kitty. I think she looks amazing. I love the tail behind her with all the spikes, the spikes everywhere. It just seems a little bit weird because of the Unity TV show that's been going on, and she's like all happy and stuff, and we see her so often there, but then like movie two, she's basically the opposite. Instead of small, she's big. Instead of uh, happy, she's angry. She lives in Apocalypseburg. Instead of Uni Kingdom. It just feels a bit weird because of the Uni Kingdom TV show. But the design of this is so awesome. I just love how it looked. And the minifigure can even ride it is so cool. And uh, in the last set I was talking about something kind of like um, them not taking it to a mini doll. They actually made the Duplo Except they actually made it out of actual Lego, which I understand because they probably wanted to do the hinging mechanism at the back. Also because they probably didn't want to include Duplo and System in the same set, which I understand. But I thought it would have been cool if they did do a Duplo um, thing there. But I kind of like how they actually had the hinging mechanism at the back. I think that's really cool. And now one thing I haven't seen anybody on YouTube notice yet. Uh, although in fairness, I haven't really watched a lot of um, Uni uh, like movie two set revealed, but if you look at the face of the Kitty and look real close, that's actually a one by two by five brick, and on top of that is uh, either a two by five plate or a one by five plate, and I'm not really excited that they made that. I feel like it's a little bit weird, but as you can see in these other two pictures that are going by right now as I'm talking. She has different expressions too, which is pretty cool. And one of them, strangely enough, is like a happy and kind of snuggly expression, which I find pretty cool. There's also a rage one, and hopefully they're printed on the back of each other, because I think that would look really cool. So let's move on 
to the LEGO DC Super Villains news. So for the San Diego Comic Con uh, DC Super Villains trailer, I'm not actually going to do a full breakdown. I'm just going to show everything revealed that was new. So we could see here on Harley's phone, there's the Justice Syndicate. It says, breaking news, who is the Justice Syndicate? Here will save the day, another Earth. Scientists say it's possible. Let's quit negotiating with new merger and a bunch of stuff that we can't see there. But you could see here, here's a um, Justice or Crime Syndicate, but they call themselves the Justice Syndicate because they're pretending to be heroes. So this character, as we already know, this Power Ring, which we actually get to see his ring, which is really cool. Sea King, Johnny Quick, Owl Man, Ultraman, Superwoman, and Grid. But what we didn't see last time is up there is Deathstorm, and down there is Atomica. And Atomica looks a lot like Captain or Miss Marvel, from like most videos too, for some reason. It just reminds me of her. But anyways, I think this is really cool that they're including Atomica and Deathstorm. But I thought it would have also been cool if they included characters like White Fox, White Martian, Starman, The Outsider, um, Deadeye. I thought those would have been some pretty cool characters. But if you, um, a really big crime syndicate fan, fan like I am, you would have known that Deathstorm is pretty significant to the Justice Syndicate. And that Atomica is a spy for them, so it would kind of be likely that they could have included her. But I kind of wish at least Deadeye was in the game. He's the earthly version of Green Arrow, but I really like how they're including these characters. Deathstorm was teased in the customizer. There was uh, his target reticle, so I think it's pretty cool how we finally get to see him for the first time. So now we get to see a picture of the Legion of Doom. So here we have Captain Cold, who we finally get revealed to. We got teased to his target radical early in the customizer. Then there's Joker, Catwoman, Gorilla Grodd, Reverse Flash, a custom character, Clayface, which we finally get to see up close, which is pretty awesome. Harley Quinn, Sinestro, who's a new character that hasn't been revealed that yet. He looks pretty cool. The Riddler and Black Adam, who also hasn't been revealed. And I'm really excited to see um, how they go with Sinestro and Black Adam, because I think there's some pretty cool characters, and I'm really excited that we know that they're going to be in the game now. So here we get to see another picture of the Legion of Doom, and we can see here characters we've already seen are Harley Quinn, Tita, Livewire, Reverse Flash, and Clayface. But characters we haven't seen yet who look pretty awesome are Two-Face, I think he looks so cool. There's, um, Deadshot. I think he looks awesome. The penguin, he's pretty normal. Like, that's what the normal penguin looks like in minifigure form. And then Captain Boomerang, which is the same one that came in, like, Killer Croc Sewer Smash. So, I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't go for a new version, but I'm still glad that he is in the game. And then finally, the big one, Malcolm Merlin. I think he looks awesome. Or the Dark Archer, if you want to call him that. And I think he is a pretty cool design. Hopefully, he could, like, turn on put on the hood, I think that would be pretty cool, because then he would look more like the Dark Archer. But I, I really like these, all these new characters, and there's going to be more characters revealed uh, in the rest of this trailer. So in this next shot, we get to see our first look at Heatwave, Clock King, and I think that's actually it, just Heatwave and Clock King, and I think they look pretty cool. Again, Heatwave was teased in the customizer earlier, but I'm glad we finally get to see him. And Clock King, if you saw earlier in the trailer, I didn't show a picture, but there was actually his torso there as one of the custom characters' torso. And I was like, oh, that's so cool, Clock King's in the game. And then I realized they revealed him later, and I was like, oh, and I guess that's still pretty cool that we get to see him. Because I was going to kind of be like, um, oh, and I see Clock King's torso there, but since they revealed him later in the trailer, I thought, well, more people would notice, so I didn't really plan on doing that anymore. But I'm still really glad that Clock King and uh, Heat Waver are in the game. And I'm really excited to see um, all their powers, which actually um, gets revealed a little bit later in some of the gameplay. So I'll be showing you that next. Next, it shows this page that says pre order the Deluxe Edition and get early access to the DC Super Villains TV series character pack. You can get to see the front of it, which you normally see when you're about to buy it. And you see on there is Zoom and Rain. And I think these characters look amazing. I really like Rain's design, how she has the cape there, and then the torso has her alien logo, and she has that, even the mask on her head. And then there's Zoom, who just looks so amazing. I really like his torso print, and how they did the head. I think that looks amazing. 
and I'm really excited to see what other characters are going to be in here. Because if I'm right, I'm pretty sure um, Damien Dark will be in here. Because if you think about it, he was the season 4 villain for Arrow. He was um, part of the season 2 villain for DC's Like Game Tomorrow. As long as, as well as, uh, I think, Malcolm Merlin and the Reverse Flash. And he was also part of the... He was like a big part of season 3 for DC Like Game Tomorrow. The main villain was Mollus, but he was also a big part of it. And so I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that he'll be in the pack. And Malcolm Merlin um, will be. He was season 1 air version um, villain of Arrow and season 2 of Legends of Tomorrow. And Reverse Flash was season 1 for The Flash and season 2 for DC uh, Like Game Tomorrow. So I'm pretty sure it's safe to say those characters are going to be in it. And I'm also hoping characters like Savitar will be in it. Rachel Ghoul. And maybe Prometheus. I think those would be some pretty cool characters, but we'll just have to wait to find out. So now I'm just going to quickly go through some of the customizer parts that we saw. So we saw parts from first Gentleman Ghost, then we saw Condiment King, then we saw Firefly, more of Condiment King, and then Adam Strange. And you can see all their parts there are listed at the bottom, except Condiment King's backpack isn't listed, but you could clearly see it. And also, um, at you could also see Adam Strange's attachment. I didn't get a picture of that, but it eventually shows us somewhere Adam Strange's name at the bottom. So I think it's pretty cool those characters will be in the game. So in some of the gameplay...